Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. In this lesson, you learn how to add and arrange text boxes as well as how to format them and the text they contain. Now we'll look at working with text boxes, but first let's look at how to insert a text box. Now on the ribbon, select the insert tab, then click the draw text box command. Then your cursor will change into something like this. Click and drag it out over where you want your text box to appear, then release the mouse. And in that way, you've created your own text box. Now you can start typing whatever you want. I'll just space some words that I had earlier. Now, as you work with text box, you can um, you might find that a text box isn't large enough to contain all the text you want to include. To run out of room for text, you can use the link command to connect text boxes. Now to do this, select your text box, then click the text box to format tab. Then select the create link command. Now your cursor will change into something like this. You'll click to where you want to add your new text box and then you resize it accordingly so that to make sure all the text will fit. So I'll also resize this one. And as you can see, all the text that didn't fit here will overflow to the new text box and it will fit perfectly. So I still need to do that a little. Now all you have to do here is to resize your text box until the red dots disappear. As you can see, they have disappeared. Now my text fits perfectly. So I'll minimize that a little bit. Perfect. Now again, to insert a text box, you just come to the insert tab. Click the draw text box command and then click and drag out where you want that text box to appear. Now let's look at modifying text boxes. We have the text fit command. Now the text fit options will allow you to format text boxes that automatically adjust font or text box size to get a good fit. Now, if you click on this drop down arrow, we see that we have four options over here and the first one is best fit. Now this makes the text larger or smaller to fit the text box. Then we have the shrink text on overflow, which automatically shrinks the font size when the text box has no room for additional text. We have the grow text box to fit, which automatically enlarges the text box to based on text size and length. And then we have do not auto fit, which makes no automatic changes to the text or the text box. Now, this is the default option. As you can see, I have it on as default. Now let's look at hyphenation. Publisher automatically hyphenates words at the end of lines in order to improve text fit. You can control if your words are hyphenated by modifying your hyphenation settings. So I'll select this text box. Now we're going to look at modifying hyphenation settings. Now to do that, first select a text box, then click the text box tool format tab, this one, then select the hyphenation command. Now, the hyphenation dialog box will appear. Now, from here, you can modify your hyphenation settings. You can choose to remove all hyphenation by unchecking the automatically hyphenate the story. You can choose to change the hyphenation zone and you can choose to make it manual. Now, once you're done making your changes, click OK and the changes will be applied to your text. Now, Publisher includes various typography commands that are designed to help you embellish your text. Now, there are six Publisher typography commands. And the first one we have is a drop cap. This is the first one that we have, a drop cap. Now, what this does is it enlarges the first letter of the selected text. Now, if I do this, if I select text over here, so I'll select this text. Then from here, choose the style that I want to work with. It will make the first letter large, as you can see. Now, that's how the drop cap works. Then we have number styles, which lets you choose between four different styles for number spacing and alignment. Um, if I come back here, as you can see, there's the default, then there you have four other options to work with. We have ligatures, which connect certain combinations of letters to make them easier to read. Then we have stylistic sets, swash, and stylistic alternates.